Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Kai's Right Guys Germany. Let's continue on from the last that's off. So, we are pre uh, preparing our naval invasion of, uh, you know, China. I mean, AOG is already doing a fantastic job of just kind of crushing the revolt. Which is why we definitely wanted to support them in any way we possibly can for the inevitable um, Second World Krieg. Because they are very, very useful. Especially their policy would do a ni very nice uh, counterbalance to Japan as well. Um, also, apparently, Persia has gone socialist. Not great for us, but it could always be worse. Uh, you guys are the ones defending, like, the Suez Canal. I'm going to send you guys down. Here. Just so we can prepare for a southern invasion, like, right away. Are you not already a puppet of ours? You are. I'll give you limited... Your Thomas puppet. That's okay. Why, Ruthenia? I don't want, like, rebellions at home. Right. I prefer to avoid that. We don't have we don't have control down here. We have no boats. Oh no, I have a, do I really have no ships down here? Our AI allies do, but we personally do not, apparently. We got some in Africa, but really just like none in Asia? I guess we're gonna send you over here for now then. So go, so go to go to Singapore. We might not even actually need you. Oh, as soon as as soon as we send ships up here, they immediately go for the invasion. Fantastic. Well we can see there's already nobody here. And there's two cities that we can easily capture. And unlike the AI, I'm not going to just completely abandon this. Which is what a fool would do. Okay, yeah, so we took it over these two cities. It'll China. is apparently still at 99%. Oh, I guess they only have like their... It only counts like Saigon itself, I think. And maybe you as well. I'm going to immediately try to push my way forward and see if I can maybe cut these guys off from the north. Let's see if we can get something done here. The Communist artists establishes the uh, Socialist Anti-Colonial Committee, which is not... I mean, does it really affect us too much? I'm actually not too, too sure. I know it affects uh, national France, like the French Republic, but... I don't know if it does too much against us, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so we got some reinforcements coming down here. I mean, we've taken over Saigon, so they've got to be pretty close to capitulating. Uh, we've definitely, I think, we've won the war. There's no doubt about that. It's 1937. That means such a decent amount of industry tax that come available. Let's get better construction speed. Let's get better fuel gain per oil as well. Yeah, but you're definitely dead. Fantastic. Uh, let's make better light tanks. We're not at war quite yet. So, so far we're missing 196 days of you. We're missing 717 days of that. 14,000 days of light tanks. Fantastic. Yeah, so you've gone... 10 to 19, 7 to 10. We'll see if Venice can actually win the war. Not that it makes a huge difference, actually. I think to us personally, who wins? We just gotta get away over here. 
And that's really about it. We're going to do like an alienation from here to there. And maybe you can get something to work. Because we just need to walk into the city. We don't even need to be like supplied. We just need to walk into the city. Now that our boats are in here. We definitely get the invasion to launch. How much fuel do we get? We have... 143 oils. We're getting 4.1 thousand, which is pretty good. As soon as you land, you literally just got to march to this province. How long is that going to take you? It's going to take you one day, 16 hours. And that should be... You're not capitulated still? But you don't have any other cities. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to pull back slightly so I don't lose control of this port. Again, these aren't really our troops. They are. They're China's troops. So, you know, they're less important overall. We, we, we should be okay. Just kind of keep them where they are. The France so far is not really doing anything too crazy. They're not really planning to go to war with us. Not that I can tell. Sweden, I don't know if you're going to join our faction at all. Finland, I'm feeling pretty confident they will. But everybody else I'm kind of 50-50 on. Uh, Ukraine. You're going for Ukraine unity. You dissolve the Rada. Fantastic. Uh, White Ruthenia is going to reestablish democracy. We might need to invade uh, White Ruthenia. That might still be entirely necessary. But we shall see. Okay, it's 1937. Uh, let's just get better infantry equipment. We have five research slots. So I think it's going to be A-OK. -okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to hold everything. The election of 1937. Today, the German people will elect the representatives to the Reichstag. The election has been uh, tightly fought, and the results are awaiting much of anticipation. The faithful, the fate of several parties, and of course, the Kaiser Reich itself, uh, could be decided today. If Social Democrats managed to secure enough votes. The realist wing of the Social Liberal FVP party will form a coalition with them. Another possibility is uh, would be a coalition of nearly all liberal and bourgeois parties. Against the predominance of the DKP, led by the beloved Lion of Africa, or the DKP could continue the uh, comfortable majority. Look how it goes down. You know what? Let's go. The Lion Roars. So we come market liberal. That seems okay. We can't be like those, you know, godless Frenchmen. With the, with the, the, the Social Democrats. The, the new Reichskaiser. Under the uh, Constitution of 1871, there's no form of government. The Kaiserreich is that the Kaiser appoints a person of his liking to the police of Reichskaiser. Who he then fills in the uh, state secretary as the Reichstung, or the Reichs administration. Even though the F, uh, F, the NLP, the FVP, and the BVP won the most Reichstag posts in the elections, does not mean the Kaiser has to uh, consider appointing a new chancellor. Now we're following the Ludendorff regime, uh, the gesture of goodwill. Okay. The Lion of Africa, political power goes up by plus 60. Who's who? So you're the... The DVLP. Is the... Returnal Autocrats. You know what? Sure. We'll appoint him to, to Chancellor. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. We gotta understand division. I think we're just gonna keep signing some people down to orange. Just, you know, for that naval invasion to work out. You're still alive, huh? You know what? Fort, uh, we'll stand again. 
It's like Saigon is about to fall. There's really no way that the, you know, Chinese Rebellion will actually succeed at this point. It's definitely going to fail. How many men have we lost? 78,000 against 72,000. You know what? Honestly, it could be a lot worse. And again, they're not, they're not our troops. They are like Germany Station troops and AOG troops. They'll be fine. I definitely want Poland to become part of our faction now. That seems uh, excellent. So the American Civil War has begun. We can see Canada's taking New England. The United States probably is not going to last. I mean, MacArthur never does. So who do we want to support? I don't think the Pacific States can actually ever join our faction. The AOG and I think the United States can. But we can't actually send any volunteers who are technically at war with uh, Indochina. But I think I'd probably support Huey. Because I think they, I think they're like the one faction that's basically guaranteed to join the Reichs back. Um, everyone else can be flippy floppy. We don't need that kind of a uh, that kind of pressure on us. We want, we want guaranteed results. More or less. The case of war in Panama. Sure, you know, you do you. Well, yeah, well, maybe we'll wait till we have like our two Panther divisions and then we'll send them over. You join the Entente. After all I've done for you, Costa Rica, you betray me like this. A shame. You should be ashamed of yourself, Costa Rica, for de for betraying my trust like this. Okay, so so for, uh, Russia's just going the democratic route. I mean, that, that means they can still very very easily declare war on us. You know, they can they can they can start doing the, the forward policy stuff like right away. We'll see if they actually do it though. We did lose our troop in Kanto. Um, we do lose Saigon. Okay, just got another naval invasion ready to go. There's one troop in Saigon, but I don't think he's going to be able to withstand three divisions attacking him. Oh, you're okay. You've land troops back in Saigon. So, you know what? I mean, I'll still guarantee them. Just to me at least send them over. There's no reason to do the naval invasion. If we can just immediately send troops to Saigon. Assuming they don't just immediately reinforce the city. Okay. Fantastic. We got there first. Indo-Chinese Union, Union, please just, like, give up. We'll try to make sure this one German troop can get out. Really sure the Reich's Pact, fantastic. I did notice that I didn't even get a decision for it. Liberia has joined the Reich's Pact, oh, fantastic. Does Liberia really make a huge difference? No, because we have all of Middle Africa right beside it. Again, assuming Middle Africa doesn't collapse, which I think is possible. But we'll see. Finland has joined the war. I mean, I think, I guess. I didn't really think it was necessary, though. To be completely honest with you. Okay, Argentina started their war. With the, the southern states. Germany in the second Congress of the International. The Congress have received with anxiety with uh, in Germany. But the economic crisis is still not completely resolved. Every, uh, every increase in social activity is a threat to the Reichs Pact and German Empire. Uh, it is late speech that Kaiser has condemned the socialists, but words are not enough. Action must be taken. Well, it's okay, because in like a year from now, a year or two from now, we're going to be in a major war. Which I guess kind of solves that issue, depending on how you want to look at it, but... So France, France, France. How many planes do I have now? Have I have I reached a thousand yet? No. 
Not even close. The ability is still awful. Still in civilian economy. However, things could be like a lot worse. To be fair. We do like march away south to get to uh Kantho. Okay, so they did kill that one division, unfortunately. Maybe if we try attacking with two divisions, we can resolve this issue. So that was the American Civil War looking out. Uh, the American Union State looks like they're doing a, a pretty good job. CSA is doing okay as well. The Pacific States, of course, are doing fine. Unsurprisingly, MacArthur is doing terribly. We'll, we'll kind of see how he turns out. And also, the Spanish Civil War also looks like it's about to kick off. So I, I, I want to intervene here, uh, of course. I want to intervene here as well. But before that, we have to defeat Indochina. Like, we legitimately don't have a choice in the matter. The Belgrade Congress argues a new order in the Balkans. Yes, well, now our support for Bul uh, Bulgaria. Everyone's declaring war on everyone in South America is just declaring war on everybody else. So who won the election? Looks like the conservatives did. Fantastic. Will they join our faction? God, I hope so. It would make everything so much better if they just did. But 92, very, very close to actually being our push through. Get our way to Contho. Not surprising that yeah, the Commune of France are still saying troops over here. Okay, so apparently the railroad that we tried to bail out did go bankrupt. That's very disappointing. Uh, no, just stay down here, please. Yeah, do something like this. We can cut these guys off. Assuming they don't get here first, which is entirely possible, but we'll see. Oh, just barely. Okay. Like, how close were you? You're probably like, yeah, like an hour away. A shame, but what can you do? We're just going to kind of surround the city and hope that our uh, allies will kind of just fill in the gaps for us. Both of Bush, Worm, and Africa's going to war in Portugal. Nothing too surprising there. So Sweden, are you going to just... I mean, they're social democratic. So I don't think they're going to join our faction, unfortunately. I mean, Finland and our faction's okay. It's just I kind of wanted someone a little bit better. But what can you do? I don't care what carrier fighters. It legitimately doesn't matter to me. Um... So, it's still 1937. You're, like, way ahead of time. You're still also ahead of time. Both are still ahead of time. Basic snorkel. You know, let's just get the research speed. Seems like an okay choice. Oh no, I, I trapped my own troop! Let's see if we can free him. Okay, the Black Dossier. A group of anonymous officers and administrators in Real Africa have compiled documentation and evidence of illegal activity by Goring and presented to, to the cabinet. The evidence of true is very serious. Okay, so basically, we, we've done this before, but in the opposite way. We'll do a formal investigation. Will that be- will this be enough to capitulate them? No, they legitimately have to be completely wiped out. 
impressive, actually. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not enjoy, call me thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.